Taking a live look here at day three, live feed of the Ken Paxson impeachment trial in Austin at the state capitol. Most of the day's testimony really dominated by a key whistleblower for the prosecution. The testimony heard in the Senate chamber has been powerful. Let's get to the newsroom and KPRC2 investigator Mario Diaz. Mario led us through the whistleblower who testified against his former boss, Attorney General Ken Paxton. And let's not forget Paxton impacts all of us here in Texas, Mario. That's right, Candace. The whistleblower who spent nearly four hours on the stand was Ryan Bangert. He used to be one of the highest ranking executives in the attorney general's office. His official title, Deputy First Assistant Attorney General. And while he was on the stand, the lead attorney prosecuting Ken Paxton, Rusty Hardin, did not waste any time focusing on the relationship between Paxton and his friend, as well as political donor Nate Paul. Bangert testified that he and others had questions over over the behavior by A.G. Paxton and his efforts specifically to assist Paul, who at the time was having financial troubles with his real estate business and facing legal scrutiny. Bangert said after months of seeing the attorney general acting unlawfully and using his public office to help Nate Paul, they had had enough and Bangert and other whistleblowers went to federal law enforcement. I went to the FBI because I believed based on my experience over the previous nine months that the Attorney General had abandoned his obligation to work on behalf of the interests of the people of Texas to serve the interests of one person, Nate Paul. Again, Bangert there answering questions from the prosecution. When Team Paxton got their chance to ask questions, attorney Anthony Osso Jr. attempted to discredit Bangert, who again was a whistleblower for never telling his boss Paxton that they were going to the FBI. Mr. Banger, I'm asking you yes or no questions. Did you tell Ken Paxton you were going to the FBI? Yes or no? I cannot answer that question with a yes Witness, or no. Witness, you'll answer the question. Yes or no, Mr. Banger. Provided him with ample opportunity. That's not what I asked you. Did you tell Ken Paxton you were going to the FBI? Yes or no? We gave him ample opportunity. That's not what I asked. Objection, non-responsive, Your Honor. I'd ask that he answer the question before him. Witness is ordered to answer the question, yes or no. Mr. Bangard, it's a very simple question. Did you tell Ken Paxton that you were going to go to the FBI? On September 30th, it's we did yes not. It's a yes or no question, Mr. Bangard. It it's is a not yes or no. a yes or no It is a question. yes or no. Bangard's ample opportunity response is in reference to he and others telling the attorney general on multiple occasions that they did not believe it was right to use the office to benefit Nate, Nate Paul, his friend, as well as the political donor of Ken Paxton. Now, coming up at six o'clock. We're going to hear from the second, excuse me, I should say five o'clock in one hour from now. We're going to hear from the second whistleblower taking the stand today. And like Banger, he was a high ranking executive as well within Paxton's team. That's coming up in just about an hour. Live in the newsroom, Mario Diaz, KPRC 2 News.